Hi everyone. Two years ago on my channel I showed you how to wire LED lights on a snowblower using a bridge rectifier. And this is the, uh, the lights that I put on. And I have also put, for the fun of it, an hour meter on the machine. And you can see I have 28 hours on the machine. The machine is two years old. It's been a good machine, it hasn't broke down on me yet. Original belt. Because of the road that I live on, it's very, very busy. And, of course, you know, doing snow in the wintertime, mostly dark. It's either dark in the morning or dark at night when you use the machine. I added a battery to it. And I added an Aaron's battery tray off an older machine. The parts are still available, so I'll put all the parts I used in the description. And you can see how there's a, it used to be wired for an uh, electric start. And that's what they call a solenoid plate, what I'm showing you right now. But I like the cover because it keeps all my sensitive wiring under the battery. So everything is going to be reasonably uh, weatherproof. I wired the 36 machine and the 30 inch machine the same way. On the dash, I have a, I put a switch right here. And as I throw the switch, the lights will come on. It's actually in a really good spot. As I stand and work the machine, I'm not getting blended by the light because I'm a little bit above the blinking lights. But as you go lower, the lights will glare. So they definitely are very bright lights. You can see this uh, daytime or night without any problems. So hopefully I won't get run down by a car this year. Check out the description, I'll have all the links in there, the parts I used. Right now you're looking under the battery box where these plugs are placed. And all I do, what it looks like, that's the cigarette lighter plugs that I put in. And that's how it looks. And the cigarette lighter plug is plugged into the top of the battery box right here. With these two screws. And here's another view on the battery box of the 30 inch machine. As I look inside the bucket of the 30 inch machine, you can see the four quarter inch screws that are placed inside the bucket. There's no interference fit, the uh, auger rotates freely. And I did paint them with uh, paint afterwards to keep them from getting rusted. As I roll the machine on its bucket, you can see the lights are placed in a spot where they're not going to be in the way as I roll it over. So I can do my yearly service on the machine without fear of damaging my lights. Between storms, I'll plug it in using a battery charger. You can see it, what I use on all my machines is this battery tender junior. It's a nice little uh, battery charger. And the wire is right here. Thank you for watching.